And uh, another crime at one of PG&E substations. Uh, the first incident had the federal authorities calling it an act of terrorism. Crime Force Will Tran live in the South Bay with first a sniper attack and now uh, appears a robbery and theft here. Will? That's right, Mark. It happened Tuesday overnight into Wednesday. This Metcalf substation in South San Jose perhaps should have been the safest substation in the Bay Area, perhaps all of the country. And the reason why is last year, you talked about this, somebody shot through the fence, damaged 17 transformers worth $15 million. That had the federal government reacting, saying what happened, what would happen if somebody did this as terrorism on a global scale or at least the national scale. And that's why they upped security beefed it up, had security cameras. That's why what happened on Tuesday to Wednesday has PG&E and local authorities in shock. Like, how could it happen when somebody apparently went into the substation? It wasn't like somebody went through a fence or cut through it, went in there, took equipment. PG&E is not saying which type of equipment or how much it was worth, and then left. PG&E did say a detection system did go off, but appropriate measures were not taken. PG&E is scrambling to find out exactly what happened and the Meantime, even before this, they were saying they want to put a wall around the Metcalf substation. And PG&E, before this happened, said that they would spend about a hundred million dollars to beef up security at all of its substations. The fact that it happened again has everybody just scratching their heads. We will try to talk to PG&E, but since this happened, they're very tight-lipped about this. Also, I will reach out to the federal authorities to find out if they will get involved in this latest incident. Back to you, Mark. All right. Well, thanks for the update.